Today, I'm going to show you how to connect your laser engraver to work wirelessly with Lightburn. Here, I'm using ComGrow Z1, but any laser engraver should work. You can see that I'm connecting power and then the USB to the laser engraver. If you don't have a Raspberry Pi Zero or any Raspberry Pi because they are so hot at the moment right now, a Libra Le Potato will work. Did you see that? I pressed the button on the remote, the macro keypad, and then it framed the laser engraver. Pretty cool, right? Let's see it one more time in action. I'm holding a macro keypad, and it's actually connected to the main desktop. You've seen this keypad before. It has a bunch of buttons, and all of them are fully programmable. So I program it to work with Lightburn, and it's working flawlessly so far. The Raspberry Pi Zero is very simple, so you need a super simple OS. The simplest one I could find is Diet Pi. Go to dietpi.com and download this image. To write the image to the Raspberry Pi Zero, download Win32 Disk Imager. Do you remember where you downloaded it? I put mine in this special folder, so just open the file. The one I'm using right now specifically is the Raspberry Pi Zero W. It has wireless Wi-Fi built in. Go ahead and open the file. Choose your micro SD card from the list. Be sure you choose the right micro SD card or else you'll format some other drive in your computer. As you can see, I have a bunch of drives in my computer. So be sure to choose the right micro SD card and then hit write. Once you've finished writing the micro SD card, go ahead and pop it into your Raspberry Pi. Boot it up. Make sure that it is connected to a monitor. So for the Raspberry Pi Zero, it has the uh, mini HDMI. Connect the keyboard, connect the monitor, and start configuring your home network. Now that your Raspberry Pi is on your Wi-Fi network, go ahead and log into it. When you were setting up, it will ask you for a password and username and a bunch of other goodies. I kept mine as original default, so I'm going to log in as root. The password default is dietpi. The idea was inspired from this post. All you have to do is copy this command, curl, yada yada yada. Right click on it, copy, go back into putty. Right click to paste and hit enter. And that's it. That's all you need to install on a Raspberry Pi. If you haven't already, connect the Raspberry Pi to the laser engraver via the USB port. Earlier, you saw my homemade cable. It was basically the USB Type B on one side. The other side is this micro USB, and then I join them together. You only need three wires between them. That is the black for ground, white for data, and green for data. You do not need the red at all. Now, to connect from your computer running Lightburn to the Raspberry Pi, you need this Windows Virtual Here client for Windows 64-bit version, assuming your Windows 10 is 64-bit. Download it, double click on it to run it. It automatically finds the Raspberry Pi, or at least it should. And then there's going to be a serial connection right here. Double click on it, and it will give you a COM port. For the sake of this recording, I stopped the laser engraver because it was making too much noise. So that's why you're not seeing this serial right here. But once you do see the serial, double click on it, and you'll get a COM port number. Let's jump back into Lightburn. When you're assigned a COM port, from Virtual Here Client, go ahead and enter it into Lightburn. Suppose it gives you a COM25, go ahead and enter in COM25. By default, you'll see that it will auto home the laser engraver, and now you are truly connected to the laser engraver wirelessly using the Raspberry Pi. The reason why I want to connect my computer wirelessly to the laser engraver is because I'm on a desktop right now. It is a super fast computer. 
and it doesn't make any sense for me to buy another super fast computer that's not just as fast because it's in a laptop form. The desktop is separated from the laser engraver a very long distance because the laser engraver is usually out on a deck and it's about 30 feet away. Using the macro keypad that you saw earlier, I can easily control everything from there because the keypad is also connected wirelessly to my desktop. In this tutorial, I show you how to connect using a Raspberry Pi and I know a lot of people are having issues or don't want to pay the scalper's price for a Raspberry Pi. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to go step by step on how to set up an alternative to the Raspberry Pi, which is Libra Computer. The model we'll focus on is the Le Potato. This machine is shockingly good. It's not exactly the same as the Raspberry Pi, but I find that it's just as good. And for the sake of what we're doing, it's more than good enough. The only downside to this Le Potato is that you have to buy a separate Wi-Fi adapter. But that's another $10, not a deal breaker in my opinion. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching.